Hi, I'm Amy, and here I'm going to walk you through some key features for students. This is what we call the course page. Here you'll find your subjects with the tutorials and subject exams. You'll be able to get to your flashcards right here, or you can jump in where you left off. Along the top, you'll see a favorites tab. This is where you'll see tutorials that you've favorited. In many courses, you'll have access to our atlases and directories. This is where you'll find our abdominal CT atlas, our brain MRI atlas, our muscle nerve directory, and physical exam findings. There's a tab for references, and you may see an administrative features tab, but if you're a student, this doesn't apply to you. Let's go into a tutorial and see what one looks like. You'll notice that we have introductory videos. These are videos where Dr. Fish walks you through the key points in each subject. The main tutorials are found under the heading Tutorials. Let's go and look at one now. This is what we call the tutorial page. Here you can play the video, Here we'll learn read through the notes, in some cases you'll see flashcards embedded within the notes, you can turn captions on and off, and if you're interested, you can come over here on the Downloads tab and download the drawing PDF or a notes PDF. Let's go into the drawing pad to look at some more features. Here you'll see an overlay that prompts you to select an activity. We're going to draw along with the video first. This is where you can draw directly over the video as it plays. I'm going to scrub forward a little bit so we can see what that looks like. I've turned the narrator off, but in the background, he is telling you what to write in your table and what to draw. We recommend watching a bit of the video and then pausing it to choose your drawing tool and draw over the diagram. You can add labels, and you can choose from our pre-made labels as well. Then hit play, let the video go forward some more, and then pause it and draw the next segment to catch up. By the end of the tutorial, you'll have a complete diagram with everything you need to know on this topic. At any time, you can get rid of the video and your drawing will persist. Once you've drawn along with the video, you may want to try drawing from memory. This is a great way to test yourself. I'm going to get rid of what I drew over the video, and then I'm going to go over to Canvas Templates. I'll click on the starter canvas so that I have some basic outlines. Then I can come back over, get my pen tool, and try to draw from memory the diagram. At any time, I can bring up the final canvas to see how my work compares. Let's clear this and come over here and we're going to pull up a labeling canvas. This is the full diagram without the labels on it, which we can add using this label drawer. You can also make your own labels or notes and drop those into the diagram as well. You can pull up the final canvas to see how you're doing. And again, we can get rid of our work by coming over here to the new document button. If you want to work from a blank canvas, we provide a place for you to do that as well. Let's look at some other things that you can do. You can change your tool style, the colors, the line width, so that you can really personalize your drawing and get it exactly how you want it. I'm going to make some squiggles here just to show you some other important features. If I want to save my drawing to come back to it later or so that my professor can see it if I'm part of an institutional subscription, I come over here to the Save button and just click Save. If you want to clear the document, click the New Document button and you'll get a blank document. If you want to pull up your files from previous sessions, we can do that here. There's my work that I did just a couple minutes ago. 
I can also download my work as different file formats. Or if you want to look further at the settings, you're welcome to do so. Now, let's take a quiz. Our quizzes are short, multiple choice questions that are meant to quiz you on the material learned in the tutorial. You can choose an answer, and then you'll see whether you're right. And the correct answer will be shown and explained, and then you can go on to the next question. I'm just going to slide through these, and then hit Submit Quiz. If you're part of an institutional subscription, your scores will be automatically recorded for your professors. From here, you can review the tutorial, review answers, or retake the quiz. Or you can go ahead and watch the next tutorial in the series. Let's take a look at exercises. These exercises are taken from the tutorial or in some cases go beyond it. They're a combination of fill in the blank, short answer, complete the drawing, and matching exercises. This area works just like the drawing pad. So you can finish the drawings, draw over them, you can fill in the blanks. And then you can check your work by clicking the Show Answer button. If you'd like to see your work over the answer, click Show My Work. Again, since this works just like the drawing pad, to save our work, we'll hit the Save button. We'll get a confirmation that the drawing has been saved. And we can clear the document if we wish to. Now, let's pull up our previous exercise. And there's our work. If you're interested in our board highlights, you can click the board highlights button. Some tutorials will have these and some will not, and they will vary from tutorial to tutorial. That's it for our course overview. I hope it's been helpful and that you enjoy learning with Ditkey.